What's going on H2O Army? Justin from H2O Plants and today we're talking substrate. Stay tuned. So people often want to know what kind of substrate am I using? This is it. Seachem Fluorite. This is the red clay version. They have a black and the sand and all the other stuff. This is what I use. Um, I do wash it. Hence that right there. I have to wash it, throw it in this bucket. And I'm going to show you why. Let's go into the fish room real quick. Well, for one, I took apart this tank. Um, I, I had to reorganize things because the plants were just uh, suffocating each other. So I needed to group slower growing plants over here so basically uh this half of the tank going this way is going to be for slow growing plants and then all the fast growing plants are going to be on this side so that way they don't um the slow growing plants won't get out compete uh versus the fast growing plants so back over to here and let's take the tripod with us you see here these are all the buckets of all the other stem plants that came out of that tank um, I have them chilling here until I'm done. So yeah, so basically you need to wash this stuff. It says that it's pre-washed um, and some people argue you don't need to. I do it because, yeah, I like to get as much dust out of it as you can. As you can see from before, the, um, the tank is really cloudy. And that's just because there's a lot of dust on this stuff. This particular substrate is very dusty. Um, and I know I say all the time I don't like dirt because when you uproot plants it brings all it up. The dirt, from what I know about it, I've never used a dirt tank, but from what I know about it, it leaves a lot more debris. Um, that was me uprooting everything. As you can see here, there's four buckets of stems. Like, that's a ton of plants. So, uh, that's why that water's so cloudy right now. Basically, the whole substrate got stirred up. So now I got to wash this and uh, yeah, so stay tuned. Now some real quick notes that I just wanted to make uh, after washing all this. Um, the reason why I wash this is because there's all this dust that you can see that just comes off. Um, it, it's normal for this type of substrate to have that happen. Um, the thing is with it though, it, it's not going to run completely clear ever, no matter how much you wash this, because what's happening is when you, like when I shake this, and the water is already running clear but then it starts getting cloudy is that you're shaking um, these up against each other and it's actually just knocking particles loose and that's causing the uh, the water to run cloudy again uh, because these are clay so clay is kind of a soft material and uh, being rubbed up against one another and uh, shook around and all that's gonna free up more debris and just gonna keep releasing so you could literally say here keep twirling it it'll never run clear it'll keep uh, dr you know, dropping pieces of the debris. So, uh, what I do is just rinse off the major debris that's visible right out the bag, and then you just kind of have to deal with it if you use this substrate. Uh, I wouldn't particularly use this substrate in like a show tank. This is for the grow tank um, because it has a clay base, so it's really good for red plants. It's really good for growth. Um, but you could get away with using regular sand, blasting sand. Uh, you could use Eco Complete, which is black, which I would prefer over this for a aquascape tank. Um, that's about it. Uh, this is good stuff. The problem with it, it doesn't hold down plants all too well. You need a lot of it, so that's why I'm adding another bag. Even though I'd already had, I think two and a half bags, this will be now three and a half bags. 
Um, but it seems to be uh, for a 40 gallon tank you need three to four bags of the stuff to um, to keep plants secure and down and uh, yeah so uh, we'll uh, I'll show you guys how I put it in the tank and all that so this is gonna be a little hard to do but basically what I do is I scoop the substrate with a uh, measuring cup here don't worry all the stuff like the strainer and this is specially designed for tanks or especially used for tanks not for anything else so what I do is I let this fill with some water here okay and you see how it gets cloudy real quick so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna gently lower it and then I'm just gonna kind of pour it out here and you see it gets a little cloudy but hopefully not too much and then you could actually trap a lot of the dust just by turning this over and slowly raising this. And what happens is all those particles want to stay in the uh, the cup here, so that they'll leak out once you raise it. So you could try and scoop it out if you're quick, but yeah. So that's what I try and do to create less of a pond of luck right now oh my god what is that oh but uh this will clear up in a, probably about in a half hour so nothing to worry about and just something to note uh this substrate gets i don't know if it's like oil or just deposits that float up that's fine just wait a day or two and they'll, they'll eventually sink so all right <music>